And you'll be able to see the uh, chat going? I, th I see it right here, I think. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that's what you wanted. Let's see if we're live. Excellent condition. There, I'm live. You are live, I see. Yeah. What, what's, what's the microphone here? What is the microphone here? Just hover over it again. Where? It, it, you can see. Oh, well, the there we go. Yeah. I don't know if that was necessary. Yeah. Is anyone here? Viewers four. Well, there we go. Here, I'm trying to make this work. Ha 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 Cool. Awesome. All right, next question. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it's like, guys, answer me. <laughs> can you fucking hear me? There's latency. All right, there's, oh, there's low latency. That's right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm new to this. Welcome. I'm a meathead. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, David, thank you for, David, David has been troubleshooting. Hey, look, David, you're on my stream. <laughs> hey, what's up? All right, you're in my gym too. Look, <laughs> David. Yeah, All right, David. Thank you. David is modding. He's also uh, helping me uh, remotely to get this set up. So thank you, David. <laughs> yep. All right. Yep. No worries. All right. Bye bye. Here we go. We good. All right. So thank you guys. Uh, this is the first stream I've done where we have it set up in my gym. I don't know. Is it, am I fuzzy? I look fuzzy. Why am I fuzzy? I don't know. Maybe I need to adjust the camera settings later. It looks good when I get up on there. Left ear gang. All right. So maybe you guys can help me troubleshoot this together. Oh, the mic's here. Yeah. Okay. I'm on mute. Can you guys not hear me? Goodness gracious. It looks like, all right, some of you guys are just messing with me, I think. <laughs> Can you, okay. What, what is going on? How come I can only you, hear you on the left side. On the left side. How about now? Can you hear me on the right side now? There's a mic up here. If you have headphones, it's only left side. How come the audio is only left channel? Hmm. Speak louder on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> it's the setting, not the mic. We're only getting mono, so it goes to the left. We need mono to stereo. Well, where do I set that? Uh, <laughs> All right, show that one. No, I don't think they're messing with me. How do I change it? Thanks, guys, for coming. You get to watch me uh, not know how to do this live. This is exciting and kind of, kind of nerve-wracking, honestly. Let me get this working here. It's the beans. It's the beans, man. Speaking of beans, I need some coffee. coffee More beans. volume. More volume. Okay, how can I, how can I just, I can't turn this volume up anymore. I can mess with this, okay? Uh, barely, audio is always tricky when live streaming. Okay, how about this? Hold on. Did that help? Did that, did you hear any increase? Was that any better? It's fine. Someone said it's fine. Yes, it's very quiet. Man, it's fine. Yeah, okay, wow. Is it better? Much better. Okay, whatever I did worked. Yes. Put one on the scoreboard for me. Touch this fan over here. Just... You know what you've won? What did I win? This. I've won something. You won a 35 pound plate. I don't want a 35 pound plate. Don't hand me a 35 pound plate. We're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> TOS. Is the sound still on only the left channel? Okay, still left speaker. 
All right. People want to know about your wristwatch. Just answer the question. It's a it's a withering skin watch. In fact, we had a paid promotion in this a year ago. I was serious. I actually, wear this watch. <laughs> it's funny. People think that I only promote things uh, to get paid for promotions, but uh, I only promote things that I actually use. So I uh, freaking Anthony love this watch. Your, your audio is still fine. Yeah, I want to fix that right now. So Anthony, we're going to work on that. Thanks. You want to call David again? No, no, David. David's. David gets to watch me uh, go to properties. You okay? Is it down here? What's that button do? How's that? Can you still hear me? Is is there sound on the right side now? No sound on the right side still. Everything's great. Still hearing no sound on the right. On the left, yeah. As long as, uh, as, long as I can hear, it's good. It's still hearing on the left. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> I want to add a reaction here. There's a, there's, this is how I feel right now. I feel like that. How do I get this to go away? There. F, F, F. Much better. Oh! How's that? It's back. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So don't press that button. <laughs> you, this whole stream is just going to be me troubleshooting the stream. We'll call David again. <laughs> uh, no sound. No, the sound's back. There's just a delay here. The sound's definitely back. Uh, <laughs> I'm angry. This is not a PowerPoint demo. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been cheated out of your money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex is going to wear his uh, Juju pants on his flight to Australia. Those are great trampolines. Okay, so I don't know too much about the streaming culture because uh, Brian didn't fully... Brian Sanders, our editor, did not fully uh, do the full um, thing for me. So I don't actually know what F's in chat mean. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Please. Tell me what uh, does it mean? It does it mean it's not working? <laughs> I don't actually know what F in chat means. What is what does it mean? <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, rip fail. Okay, I figured it was. I figured it was something like that. Like you can't hear me or something's not working. Here, I think you need some of the green drink. Okay. <laughs> Red one. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Never hand that to me again. <laughs> <laughs> What's chroma key water? <laughs> <laughs> that was, I did not see that coming. Oh, wait. That's oh, right. you guys, we, we have a project. We do have a project. What do we have, Sam? Well, I bought you these as a gift. Yeah, I have to plant these. So, <laughs> it's a uh, it's basil plant. I got a couple basil. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call. <laughs> yeah, you call David to see if you can figure out the uh, left channel audio thing, guys. I'm sorry, there's no left uh, left channel audio. So. Hey. Okay, you're you're live. Yeah. Okay, I see 48V. Air. Trying to troubleshoot the uh, audio, left the audio right. left side audio guys. Just give me a second. I'm, I'm going to not look at chat for just a moment while I try to get this working for you guys. All right, David. David. What am I pressing? The air button.
I see, uh, yeah, left gain, right gain, inst, air, and 48V. Yeah, that should be in the middle. What am I pressing? Where's the toggle? There's a, yeah, there's a toggle switch. You turn the switch? Toggle right in the middle of left and right. Flip the switch. Air? No, it's a toggle. There is no toggle. Can you hear me now? It's still on the left? Yeah. Huh. You just Is it on the back that? of it? No, it's not the monitor button. Strongest man debug stream live. <laughs> Is it okay? It looks like it's only picking up from the from that one. Wow, we got a nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> Sweden arm wrestling television. You can turn OB mono on your PC. I want to answer the guy that just left us a big donation over here. Can you guys hear me? Left side only, no right side idea. Well, at least they can still hear me for a second here. We'll figure out the left side audio thing in a bit. Oh, Mr. Sweden Arm Wrestling Television, thank you so much for the uh, uh, generous donation. So are you going to be doing more live streams and arm wrestling related content in the future? Keep it up. So I would like to talk about Devin here in a little bit because that's interesting what he's about to go face LaVon. Yeah. And uh, it, it's interesting to me because LaVon is not playing with Devin in the uh, hype going into the match. And Devin's getting pretty frustrated with uh, Levon not really, he just kind of falled off the face of the earth. And it's really interesting to watch that. So am I going to do more arm wrestling related content in the future? Sure, absolutely. Am I going to be focusing on arm wrestling training and getting really good at it? I don't think that that is a plan right now. So I do appreciate that though. But yes, I, I do like arm wrestling. I like the training of it. But it seems like whenever we started this, threw me in the lion's fucking uh, cage and just all these pro arm wrestlers just fucked my arms up so bad for so many years. I need a... What about slapping contests? No, no slapping contests. Force mono in your audio settings. Okay. Force mono. Properties. No, that's not what we need. I don't even see that setting. Properties. Nope. Advanced audio properties. All right. Where, oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Who said that? 7.1. Wait. I see. He says Mike Ox mono. Okay. So I got forced mono on that. So I, I forced mono. Whoa. The forced mono. Is it working? There we are. Whoa! Oh, 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 look at that! Yeah! Woo! That's, that's chat helping you out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chat yeah. helps Meathead learn. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's a win for you guys. Yes! <laughs> I'm tired of this uh, message held for review crap for someone cussing. I'm sorry. I got to hit show on that. Uh, there we go. Chat number one. Chat number one. There we go. I'm getting hype. I'm going to do a typing test. Hold on. Wait, 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 you need some yellow drink. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, we did that together. It took 13 minutes, it seems. Yeah, it does look like you're going to fall. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, look, Jason. Jason, Senna, thank you. I appreciate the uh, nice words there, and congratulations on your weight loss journey. Oh, uh, it looks like, and you have, yeah, there we go, man. Good job. It's, uh. Remember, it's it's a marathon, not a sprint. We got some we got some good donations coming here. Thanks so much, uh, guys, for the kind words and for helping me with this chat because that was great. We we fixed the audio. It only took a second. <laughs> you got flippy boy. Who we got here? I got Sam's phone over here. What are we looking at? Yep. I uh, thank you, Slippy boy, <laughs> and Obey. Thank you so much. Uh, for coming in uh, unannounced. I haven't been announcing the stream schedule for you, but you've probably noticed I've been doing it around this time every Saturday. And that's I think that's what I want to do forward. I got a three weekend streak going here, guys. 
and we're gonna have some fun i'm just experimenting so the first one we did in the gym with a phone next one we did outside and then this one we're doing sitting here and i just wanted to connect with you guys better and engage more with chat and take this typing test over here so whew. there you go nick asks why green screen in the gym if you're in the gym all right here we go who's the fastest why why am i getting an ad anthony you are correct obey is bay what what is going on what happened to my typing test okay wait they can't see your typing test they can't see it it's no. right there okay is it oh it has to be over here okay why fine let's use there be for a lot of things like holding their food and scratching themselves good nice I'm like human well i think we use our feet for those things too but uh anyway the majority of birds are left-handed giving cat oh god no giving cats candies whoever wrote this is on acid um because we went from parrots to humans to cats there's a lot of uh synesthesia going on here in the writer of this typing test uh i have to get this and he is a uh, hunting pet yes i am not hunting and pecking i'm fast i'm the world's fastest typer in terms of uh strong people what what that was terrible results no what what the heck this is like progressive overload your fingers give me anything i don't care here well since we're talking about cats show them the latest cat toy which was not meant to be used. so will it even show up yeah it's, it's right here i know i mean turn it on you guys know what this is you ever seen one of these it's the ultimate cat toy Um, yeah. Awesome. Exciting. This is... Get... Come on. There. True story. When I was a kid, my mom gave me a, uh, a red laser pointer and I sat underneath the blanket of my room and shined it into one of my eyes. I was probably about nine or ten. Hopefully my mom's not watching the stream. And I'm colorblind in one eye. I think it's because of that. Because if I, one of them is much cooler than the other. So those rock climbing videos we did, where I am getting the colors wrong on the holds, is uh, about fifty percent acting and fifty percent true. All right, David Wilson, thank you so much for the donation there. Yeah, we're back, man. And uh, yeah, about Magnus, about Magnus, I I, I want to do some more rock climbing stuff, and he's awesome. I did the. Uh, <clears throat> He's opening another, he opened another gym. I have his book, actually. Oh, you got his book finally? You guys, did you guys know that Magnus has a book? It's called Magnus. And in his book, it's, it's about Magnus, so it's pretty cool. It's a good book. I haven't read the whole thing, but I've read a lot. And a lot of it's just awesome pictures and stuff, so, you know. Look at that. Okay, now I just need to find a good green image here. The, just the oh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, Magnus is in the gym, I guess. That was fun. Well, you might do a virtual collab. A virtual collab with Magnus, we can do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a real collab. Though. I know. So you guys, I got a question for you. Okay, <clears throat> Lee, Leah, Mightiest Zeus. I'm sorry that you did the same thing with your eyeball when you were a kid too. You know, there's been a couple people who've mentioned that. Uh, what? That they did that when they... Because those things came out in the 90s, you know? So we didn't know. It was like, oh, this is cool. Look at it. You know what I mean? You're staring at this red light. I'm a dumbass, you know? But, uh... Okay, so if you guys... Uh, we get we get requests for collabs a lot. And uh, the cool thing is that collabs are my favorite thing to do. The travel and everything. Um, it does make it so where we just can't do them all the time with everything else I want to do. But... With that being said, you know it's you know it'd be really cool if uh, 
we can get video idea um, recommendations because it's one thing to just be like, hey, when are you going to work with uh, Magnus again? When are you going to work with the Boogs again? Um, yeah, we want to, and we will. But it, it, it's like, hey, what if you guys did a video with Magnus where he did this? You know, like, what would be you something you want to see? Some cat couches? I'm pretty sure doing a crochet video with Magnus would be boring. Maybe macrame, then. I don't even know what macrame is. World's strongest macrame. World's strongest macrame. Maybe. Tying knots and stuff? <laughs> what? Can you guys even hear Sam? Let me give her a microphone off camera just for the hell of it. Brian Shaw breaks my gym. Brian Shaw breaks my gym. I want to. Fun fact: You designed a lot of this gym to accommodate very large folks. Like okay, you. so yeah, what Sam said. You see this? Uh, Crage, Crage in chat. You see this? This is a ten foot tall strongman power rack, and the only reason I bought it was to accommodate Brian Shaw or any other six foot nine man that wanted to come here and do log pin press lockouts in a rack without hitting the the top cross member uprights. That that's why I got that. Hi, Jimmy. Pretty pretty niche pretty niche thing, but yeah. Um, I want to do a video with Brian Shaw where we swap gems. You know those TV shows where people swap houses and you just get their reaction? Like wife swap? Yeah, like... <laughs> wife swap? Well, even the world's uh, strong biggest uh, leg press... Yeah, I got the I got the world's largest leg press in here to accommodate Brian Shaw. Me and Joey can actually leg press on that together. Which, by the way, uh, Joey's coming in a couple weeks. Joey sat Mary, and uh, we're gonna do videos together for three days because we're friends, and that's what we do, I guess. Joseph, how about, how about clothes and toothbrushes? <laughs> Why well, stop there? All right, I'm gonna uh, see taking a look at chat here. Yep. Iceland, Athor. Man, chat moves pretty good. Thanks, guys, so much. What do you think about uh, the Stoltman brothers doing backflips or flips on the trampoline? <laughs> there, rip, on, rip headphone users. Uh, you know, guys, if you ever meet Tom Stoltman in real life, he's really one of the biggest humans ever. The dude is a tower of a human being. So he's in, he's he's fucking big, dude. Um, this gym is great, man. It's just... <laughs> yes, I can do that. Who who asked for that? Nobody asked for me to play Ninja Gaiden. Nobody. I might have to. Otherwise, it's gonna be in a mono settings. I don't know. We're about to find out. All right. <laughs> What would Juji look like in Brian Shaw clothes? You know, there's a lot of good uh, comments I'm missing here in chat. I, I can't wait to go back and read the live chat replay later. <laughs> Just because I think there's some gold in here, guys. Thank you. Don't hand me that again. Get it away. I'm freaked out by that. I, you must, you must drink. No, I don't trust it. Just, you must, that's how you become one with the chip. Okay. What is that? I don't know. Okay, drink, drink red. I am good. Can you please get me some coffee? I haven't had any coffee. Look how low energy I am. <laughs> yes, Nest Ninja Gaiden. Here we go. All right. There we go. Where is it? Alright, I need to move this to the other side, otherwise I'm just going to be looking to the right the whole time while I play this game, because I want to try to distract myself and uh, read chat and play at the same time. That's kind of the way streamers do it, right? Oh, I got hit. <laughs> Let me get to the boss and I'll take a break. Ow! Oh, God! Alright. Here we go. Oh, I can actually look this direction, I guess. I'm playing Ninja Guide and that's what's going on. Alright. Nice. 
Balance is too high in the game. Okay. So how are we going to change that? So balance is too high. Does that mean that the sound is too low? Or what? How do we do this? How do we do this? Turn game down like 10 or 15 percent. Um, sound levels are fine. Game a little too high. Okay. How about that? Okay. Is that better? Well, you can't hear it because nothing's happening in the freaking game. There. All right. Turn the desktop volume down. Okay, I think I just did. All right. All right, we're going to take a break for this. Back to Magnus real quick. Thank you, David Wilson, for the donation. You could go climbing outdoors with them. Try to break world records together. Our grip strength gauntlet. You know what would be great? That's a good idea. And I should probably write that down because my muscles will look really good outside climbing. You know, there's, there's something about sunlight hitting the physique that just makes it look that much more um, unrealistic and unattainable, which is exactly what everyone posts online who does fitness. Which is, this is perfect, yeah. So that's a good idea. Outdoor rock climbing, which is something I've never tried before either. Probably need to lose weight, so probably needs to be after my competition because I'm dieting down. I'm going to get leaner, and that would work pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> volume trolls. Is that a word? Is that a term? Is volume, is volume troll an actual thing? I, I, I don't know. I've never heard. I kind of like that term. There's a term for it now. But, you know, it's really helpful at the beginning of the stream, guys, when you did help me fix the audio so that worked out well because it was only coming out the left side all right the bounce back lighting looks so good thank you i have a ring light behind me i, I do some things correctly every now and again am i muted no way no you didn't don't don't you dare oh god i'm so gullible okay i'm doing a bodybuilding competition mute 1543 uh it's at the end of august so they're going to enter two divisions. They're going to enter open men's super heavyweight as well as masters because I am over 35, which gives me a little bit of an advantage in that because I'm old. So, all right. Yeah, no, I did set myself up. Gosh. I, I want chat to troll me a little bit so that I can learn. You know, it's like a sink or swim type thing. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're not going there. What's behind me? It's a gym. It's my gym. <laughs> Vid Vidi cake. <laughs> when I take off my headphones, I can't hear the stream. <laughs> That's pretty clever. I like that one. Yeah, yes, this is great. No, no, no. okay, I, I, okay. Chat is chat's trolling me too hard. I gotta take a break. Let's. Oh, you got, I gotta. You won't be able to see the game here. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, here we go. Jeez, how do I do this? I am such a noob at this. There. All right. All right. Level two. Let's go. Yep. Oh, don't jump. Okay. Okay. All right. I, yeah, Leo Long, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely 21. You know what, uh, Dane Christensen, collab with James Hollingshead. Uh, we're in circles together on Telegram, so I'm actually part of a Telegram group now with what, Lee Priest, Antoine Vaya, Jose Ray. There's a bunch of bunch of guys, so I think I posted on that on Instagram a few days ago for that link. So uh, James is nuts, dude. That dude's heavy as hell. Big, strong. He squatted uh, 800 for like... What, what, no, it wasn't 800. It was 300 kg for 10, just just because the other day. It's a bodybuilder. Um, <clears throat> all right, William Wortman, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm glad you. I'm glad you like all those books, man. Thanks. I'm writing another one right now. It's a slow progress because um, I do the programs myself. They're for me, and then I change them, uh, or I don't change them. Thank you. It's empty. No, it's not. Drink it. It's one. She gave me an empty coffee mug. Who does that? No, just drink it. Just drink it? I don't trust you. Here's another sip. 
What is this? What is happening? It's kind of hot. So together you you have consumed a cup of coffee. Yeah, you have a towel. I just spilled that all over myself. Uh, thank you, Subin, for the donation and congratulations on opening your website, as well as uh, continuing to work towards all the flips and stuff you're doing. So I'm proud of you, man. Very good job. And thanks for coming in, in the live chat right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I don't. I have no idea what just happened. Who's gonna clean all those mugs later? I think I just had a pot of coffee through uh, the vessel of several small mugs. <laughs> That's not the real Magnus. <laughs> That's the fa ah! what? The, what's that? <laughs> What it's a ghost. You threw a ghost at me. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to figure out how to move this over here. I want to try to challenge myself because I'm actually pretty good at this game. Thank you. Don't throw a phantom at me. Those freak me out. Sam, interact with chat here. Ooh. All right. Bye-bye, Gianni. Thank you for coming in. Ghost behind you. Reading chat, guys. 8-bit is king. It is right. Thank you, 86 Delgado. You're competing in your first strongman competition tomorrow in Vancouver. Good luck. Hopefully the travel doesn't get to you. So make sure you stay hydrated on the plane and your ankles are going to swell up no matter what, unless it's local. And uh, thank you so much for the kind message, man. That's very, very appreciative of that. <laughs> uh, between Devin and Levon, I don't know. Devin's definitely winning the uh, the the psychological game, in my opinion. De uh, Levon's just hiding from Devin in that regard. So, uh, let's see. Zondo. Zondo, whoa, look at that one, big one. Thank you so much, man. Very much appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's very kind. What are you up to, What What is he up to? Yeah. What are you up to, my friend? What are you up to, Zondo? Nice logo. Like two sniper rifles. He must be a gamer. Nice. Uh, what we got here? This flagged comment over here. What about fiber in the diet? Why did it flag that? Where did it go? <laughs> yeah, I'm eating a really clean diet now with a ton of protein, but I'm shitting all over my ass when I use the bathroom. <laughs> it's called mud butt, bro. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. So... Uh, there's there's wiping techniques that I'm not going to go through on stream that will actually help keep things clean. What? Google it. Like, have you no one? Everyone from the from the time they were existing to to now Are never actually. You go wiki how page. You go. You look. Have, you look up things to get better at, but no one ever thinks about wiping their butt better. You can Google how to wipe your butt the best way possible, and you will learn the best technique for wiping your butt. We're not going to do that on stream today. Well, but that is the answer to your question, is not to change your diet, you know but what? to wipe better. This is what the book of answers said. All right, I got a book of answers here. As if I needed another prop for this live stream. So, what we got here? I'm going to answer a question with a book of answers. Uh, I don't see any questions. I see a lot of things about bidets, Japanese toilets. Um, oh, look, Zandu got back. Working on my titles of financial videos. Thanks, Sandu. That's awesome. That sounds interesting, too. Nice. Just an entire roll. Just an entire roll. Uh, 
Will we see Magnus again? Will we see Magnus again? We don't even need that. We just saw him. Here he is. <laughs> I just answered a question with uh, that wasn't a really nice answer, but yes, we'll see Magnus again. All right. Um, how's Jim Cat? Jim Cat is. Jim Cat is, of course. Of course, Jim Cat. All right. We're going to take a break for that for a second. All right. Where's the singing and dancing muscle, muscle mix one? Whoa. All right. Oh! I'm going to. Bam. Answer, ask questions while I do this. Uh, sing your favorite song right now. Sing my favorite song. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy Sing birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ninja Gaiden. Happy birthday to you. Another message. What age were you born? Blue birth is wonderful. Full. <laughs> the answer is full. <laughs> How do I get up there? I forgot. I feel dumb. Oh, okay, I got you. Alright. Why is the mic so bad? Is this another volume troll? I learned a new word today. That's great. Volume troll? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. You were you were you were filling up 99 coffee mugs over there while they while we covered that. Oh, I know. Thanks, Sandu. Alright. Thanks, Sandu. Put! Put! Oh no, I don't The happy birthday song is not copyrighted. That's a joke. Labs like another gamer. Oh no. <laughs> no! Wow, I didn't realize how You know, I'll be I'll be honest. I didn't realize how hard it was to play video games and engage with chat at the same time. How do streamers do it? It's hard. Like I can just play it, ignore you guys, and just be fine. But I don't want to do that. I feel like what's the purpose of watching this? If I'm just playing this game over here, and I'm not saying anything. I guess, I guess they just talk to themselves? How does this work? I mean, I've watched live streams before, don't get me wrong. I guess they just talk to themselves. Or they just talk out of their head. Muscle memory is the answer? Bah! Yes! Die! All right, so what do they say? What do we got? Uh, a lot play and ignore. Play as a play when I hit a break or when the screen's been clear, that's when I read. Then kind of blah, blah, blah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so singing, dancing, muscle man. He, he did some super chip thing earlier. Uh, would you rather have a human body or a dog and a dog head or a dog body and a human head? Um, I'd rather ask the chat, can you hear Sam's questions from over here? Because the microphone's up here. And Sam is talking over there, and she's kind of quiet. So, chat, her voice is too low. Okay, so you're going to have to okay. kind of yell. Would you rather have a human body and a dog head, or a dog body and a human head? This is like a Mars attack. I'd rather That's have a question. human body. Why would I want a dog body? That would suck. So you have a dog head. Yeah. It'd be prettier than my head. I have an ugly head. You guys remember the movie Mars Attacks? Yes, they remember Mars Attacks. Everyone everyone is from... from... Yeah. I feel like I just played this stage. Alright, these guys gonna die. Alright. Oh. More questions, Sam. More, more yeah, there's a lot of there. Oh, God! I died. That's the first time I died. Alright. We're gonna go back to the gym scene here. Wait, who do we have coming next, John? Uh, we have Joey coming next. And then we have PH Deadlift and Antoine. And uh, I gotta get in contact with a couple strong men. And then I'm going to... And who just casually set a world record in our, in our gym? Jen Thompson uh, set a world record in gym. That video's done. It's coming out next week. We have a video coming out today after the stream. And it answers the dying question that you all wanted to know, which is... What question is that? Do strong men do arm day? Oh, yeah, do strong men do arm day. That's, that, I should know that. What we, do strong men That was my video idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the most recent game I played is actually... He knows where I'm going with this. 
The most recent game I played is Ninja Gaiden. Oh my gosh. That's not the dick thing. I could... This game's great. So, me and David are troubleshooting some internet stuff, and every time I got frustrated, I would jump into a pit on this game and be frustrated in a different way. So, Thomas wants to know, will you ever do a collab with Sam's mom in a forklift again? Sam's mom is recovering from uh, surgery. Yeah, she is. And we actually have more gym equipment coming here at the end of this month, so I'm going to have to rent a forklift. So, someone has to drive it. I don't know how to drive a forklift. We know somebody. Yeah, we know someone. You don't want us driving a forklift. Yes. So my gym is missing nothing, but I keep buying things and have no place to put it. So the plan is to accumulate equipment until all of a sudden it explodes like a tick that's been sucking on a human too long. And then a new gym appears and it's public. It's a public gym. Give it a few years. People are afraid you're going to fall back because we put safety last and we have no guardrails. Oh my gosh. On your gym. All right, so I got to ask a question. What happens when a streamer needs to pee? Because I need to pee. Pee in a cup? Finish what you're <laughs> drinking first, right? All right, I need to take a break here. Sam, uh, continue yelling into the microphone from off the camera because you don't want to be sitting here, I guess. All right, you got, I got you covered. SMC's got me. B, uh, maybe if I type in a BRB, this is so old school. <laughs> uh, I need something. No, Sam did not take the front seat. Oh, they want you to pee your pants. Okay, guys. Video ideas with the books. This we've we've always heard that coming back. Okay, there's a lot of delay. Do do do. Yeah, I don't think he could bring the, the camera out there while he's streaming a stream. All right. They want boobs to try Atlas stocks. I don't think he has a bicep injury. I think he could do it. But he's got to let his quad recover first. Yeah. So the Boog's quad's recovering. Actually, I need to message him because we're going to be filming a music video in my gym here. Maybe. No, definitely. Oh. Definitely going to do it. If if the people that I have in mind to collab with on that uh, drop out, then it's still going to happen, man. It's still going to happen. We're getting a metal band to come into the gym. We're going to move the plyo floor, set it up. We're getting a professional film crew here and film a music video. So that'll be fun. Hi, James. And I think I want them to write an original song about working out or something. So that's kind of the direction we're going with that. Um, but yes, uh, the Boogs is someone I want to be part of that project because I think it would be a lot of fun to film a, a metal music video that has to do with training with the Boogs. That would be sick. All right. Total calories for the day. Uh, 5,000 on a training day, 4,000 on an off day, and they're going to continue to drop. So I'm dieting down 12 weeks as I get closer to my competition. We're talking about maybe four weeks out from my show. I'll be down to maybe about 2,200 calories on a off day and about 2,800 to 3,200 calories on a training day. So that answers your question for the calories. Um, Anton Faminko and I keep in touch. He's a great guy. Wow, there's a lot of questions. I love these questions. Thank you, guys. This is so much fun. I'm sorry I can't answer them all. I feel that's a, that's it. I feel like guilty. I can't answer everyone's questions. There's so many good questions. I don't want them to think I'm like ignoring them. You know what I mean? But it's just the way it happens when things move. You know. Well, someone asked. So Sean asked if I could narrow down your focus from poly athlete to one sport. Which one would I choose? I don't know if I could choose something for you, but you pretty much periodize your training. You get to choose my training? What would you choose? I don't know. You wouldn't choose bodybuilding because I'm tired all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you taking know? out the trash and doing a lot of grocery shopping. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you could do tricky the same way you used to. No, I'm too heavy and old. No, if, if I did everything right, to and training-wise, diet-wise, everything right uh to try to get better at acrobatics again i will never be as good as i was when i was 26 because it's called uh age 
it's just it's the way it is it's just the way things work you don't see competitive gymnasts uh doing as well as they did in their 40s as they did in their 20s um strongman comp maybe it's not on my plans but there's no reason i can't and i can continue to get stronger when i get older which is why i'm kind of focusing more on strength and size and uh do you think you'll ever do like a formal strongman comp i answered that question just now you weren't listening no i wasn't <laughs> You didn't listen to anything I just said. Oh my god. Oh, Sid he misses you tricking. I know, but other miss you tricking. You know, I miss tricking a lot. You know. Do you so you wanted to perhaps learn some low level moves? Right? Can you guys hear Sam? Can you hear her? Oh my gosh. Can you guys actually hear her? It's going to be a delay, so now they're just watching you watch I know. Chat. You know, David, I should really put uh, ultra low latency or something on it, you know, because the chat lags a little bit too much for my liking. See, look, they're getting yeses. They're getting yeses for what? I don't even remember what I asked. It was like they hear me? eight seconds ago. See I, see, I forgot what I asked you. That's crazy. Give me, I, I need to take a, I need to, I need to blow off some steam. Hold on. All right. No. All right. Sam, yo, yo questions at me. Mm. Ah! Yo questions at me. Alright. So if you had to battle two Pokemon, who would they be? Battle them? Yeah. What do you mean? Okay, fine. We'll go to Beanie Babies. Oh, God. Beanie Babies just killed me. <laughs> I'm actually really good at this game, but, you know, I've got all this stream anxiety What's right now. What's your favorite cheat meal? I love these questions. I just want to answer them all, so we're going to go for it. I just um, asked you one. I'm, I'm reading questions and trying to listen to the questions you ask at the same time. Um, we love North Carolina. Uh, uh, Clarence looks like he fell off the face of the earth. Um, nah. Dr. Mike is the same way off camera as he is on on, except for he's actually a little nicer off camera than on. Game over, yes. Um, overall, Mike is a good dude. Mike is a great dude, and I want to work with him again in the future. I love the way he trains. Out of all the people I've trained with, I think he's going to be in the top three in terms of, like, I like the way he sets up his training. It's a lot like the way I do it. That That's worked for me after trying a lot of other ways. It doesn't work. Um, I like him. So, wow, look at that. Uh, eat crickets. That, uh, write that down. That well, is a good that, video idea. Well, come on. That's what Books is doing. He's eating crickets? Real ones? Live crickets? Oh, that's lame. Like, we need to go to a tackle shop and get some crickets in those stupid little uh, mesh containers. I think they're, like, dehydrated crickets. <sighs> Does Dr. Mike ever feel competitive with the other Dr. Mike? Who's the other Dr. Mike? Is that, like, is that, a, is that the other YouTube guy? The guy who has... What's it? Can you guys hear that? It's an ASMR stream now. Yeah. All right, we're going to take this phantom plant and run, run it against the mic. Would you guys like... Shh, shh. That's what it's like to be natural. I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> Jim Cat is good. He's outside dehydrating himself in the sun. He's a moron. <laughs> he likes to lay out there and just roast. Uh... Revival Fitness. Yes, I like him. I, I think he's great. He's unbiased. He's one of the channels in that category of channels that I actually think the guy is brave enough to say what he says and even go against what most people... How do I say this? Uh, I've seen him battle his entire comment section uh, when they disagreed with him, so he sticks to his guns. I love that about the guy. So someone asked, are you floating on air? Why don't you answer with the uh, magic leap? Am I floating on air? It says without a doubt. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know how I can show this. I need a, we, we try to get the other camera set up, but focus. Focus. Okay. Uh, Emperor Palpatine. Here's a question from Steven. I'm currently training for mountaineering, climbing, and alpine stuff. Would you rec What would you recommend for recovery and functional mu muscle growth? Where was that question? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Um, uh, I would recommend uh, going to Magnus's channel and searching for recovery. 
uh, and rehab and shoulder exercises. Cause I think he's done a few videos on that. He would know better than I would. Um, uh, felt tip prick. Will you compete again? Uh, yes, I'm competing in 12 weeks in bodybuilding and probably in powerlifting at some point because I think body, honestly, powerlifting competitions are way easier. Really? The, I think the training for the prep is a lot harder than training for prep for bodybuilding. Bodybuilding, oh, it hurts. It just hurts. Powerlifting preps hurt. Like the entire, uh, anyway, the actual competition day is pretty easy. Just like do your three lifts uh, three times. <laughs> but no, it's not, it's not really. Okay. Have you guys, it's fun. Okay, in chat, have you guys ever competed in bodybuilding and then in powerlifting or in two different sports well competing in power competing in bodybuilding is easy too you go up on stage and people are always like oh you're gonna run out if you didn't practice your posing for a million hours a day like they did in the 80s you're gonna guess out and blah 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 it's like i don't know you just don't go back behind stage and do 45 minutes of pump-up exercises step on stage fresh after a few rest days and it's just like i can hold this shit all day man hold these poses forever it's no problem and then it's over it ends really quick so all right brandon is uh he's very persistent. Did you ever get your stone sealed? I did not get the stone sealed. In fact, I bought a stone of steel from my Bartos uh, instead because um, because uh, Martins told me to throw the other stones in the trash. He hated them so much when he lifted them. Now they're just lawn decoration. So <laughs> I did not get them sealed. I just need to buy new stones, apparently. Um, any tips on how to clap some cheeks? I don't know what you mean. I feel which like, cheeks. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Wolfgang, thank you very much. Horror game stream. Every time you get scared, spooked, you have to do a single rep on a bench press. Add ten pounds of it. That's that's kind of fun. Have you seen someone else do that? Like uh, Ben Rice? Is it Ben Rice? Uh, does powerlifting streams on Twitch? I wonder if he does any games. I've I've not followed his. What format. about? Does it have to be bench press? Can it be like overhead press or any other? It would end sooner if it was bench or overhead, because if you added 10 pounds to your squat every time, you, I mean, I'd, I'd go for quite a little while, I think. Well, could it be like a cable machine? That's ah, boring. Nobody, uh -huh. nobody wants to watch a, it's just, it, it, you need something with some danger, something that's going to chop your neck off if you, if you fail to lift, you know, you got to add a little bit of, a, le oh. a little bit of ninja guide into this. Hold on. But wait, how tall is the world's shortest penguin? How tall is the world's shortest penguin? Yeah. Um... Not tall enough, but he's still short. Next question. Are you uh, gonna be doing some CrossFit? Mm. No, I'm not. Are you a CrossFitter is my question. Well, Steel asked how tall are you, and he said hello to the question giver. I am 5'10", and right now I weigh 251 this morning, and now I'm probably about 256 after I ate breakfast and drink some water. Hey, just, just. Thanks for your donation, donation for the talk today. Ginger Billy did a great ASMR video. It'll be fun together. Do you know who Ginger Billy is? I don't like it when people ask me if I know who people are, because most of the time I... I don't. No? Aww. So. so Timothy Abbott, hey, how are you? He asked uh, to drink another rain. Do 300 jumping jacks. Not anymore. You can, you can have some of mine. Okay, now do some jumping jacks. So I guess you guys can tap for this and then just repeat it 300 times. Look, look at my crotch as I do jumping jacks. Wait, get into like a squat position. Okay. Yes. Is this what they're asking for, or are you doing this to me? What do you call this? Wait, fireworks? No. No? This is Happy Van Dance. That's a happy, uh, have you ever met Furious P? Yes. I've got, okay. He's bigger in person. Next question. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> That was actually a pretty good exercise. That felt Did pretty good. Do dancers have a better core? I don't think so. No? Why would they? I don't know. It depends on what you use the core for. If you're an acrobat, yes, you twist and explosive stuff, but if you're a powerlifter, you're bracing, so it depends on how, how you use 
your core. Yeah, this is fun. I understand why streamers uh, hang out for a while and stream for nine hours at a time. Well, it's exciting. Was... He asked, "Are you still growing and eating sprouts?" Yeah, I got two of them in the. Uh, go, go bring me, go bring me a couple sprouts. Go read some chat. Yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading. How to get big forearms. Uh, genetics. <laughs> I don't know. You grip things a lot, as well. So, go to gripgenie.com. I'm co-owner of the company, and we sell grip tools as well. So, add a little bit of a little spice into your. Uh, training with some grip training just a little bit a set here a set there a set here and before and after and before you know it forms get a little bigger it takes time though so well we got a lot of chat moving around i want to catch up i want to catch up omelets in the pool all right all right thank you leah mightiest zeus did you meet me in person at the arnold or something why sprouts because they're highly nutritious they're super cheap you don't have to go to the grocery store they look like ah! okay well sorry rip headphone users these are sprouts mine are haunted i don't actually want to fix this issue with the green screen this is so fun i love everything that's green it's like turning invisible but these are fenugreek sprouts and these are broccoli sprouts and i usually add them to my meals i've been doing it for almost two years oh exactly two years now Actually, I started sprouting in May 2020. Yeah, still sprout all the time. And I found a cool... No, no, no. I found a cool thing. So, with the sprouting guys, one thing I found out recently, I learned something new. If you have some sprouts that are almost fully grown, but you have to leave town, go out of town, or you can't water them, you don't have anyone to take care of them, put them in the fridge. And if you come back like four or five days later, take them back out, I thought that would kill them. I'd be like, well, they're not going to come back to life now. I started watering again, and sure enough, they just started growing again. So it's just like, I didn't have to hit the reset button on the entire sprout farm. I just picked up where I left off, like a safe state in a video game, which, by the way... Wait, have you tried any knees over toes exercises? Uh, hold on. Before I answer any knees over toes exercises, speaking of safe states, I cheated. <laughs> I got here earlier. Now we're here again. All right. New stage. Right. Ouch. Okay. Are we even doing any backflips? Not right now. Oh. All right. More, more questions. More questions. All right. Oh! Do you do Wim Hof breathing exercises regularly? No. Do you have any thoughts or views on it? Um. Book, you? I read most of it. I think people that say they read books a lot of times, um, actually almost all the time, they read most of the book, but not the whole book. So, Nasty Mask asked, since you released the Great Looking Hoodies, do you have any plans on releasing any similar style t-shirts with or without sleeves? Would love some new gym shirts. All right, so the sleeveless hoodies, guys, right there. It's like I had that set up beforehand. I did something right. Uh, you can only buy them if you have the link. And there you go. There's the link. If you go to the main website, um, I don't actually have them listed anywhere. You can't find them. But if you have the link, well, you can. So if you want to wear the same sleeveless hoodie that I'm wearing. Yeah, can't get over there. Yeah, something like that. Shrink into it, yeah. So, well, Matt, Chris, you yes, Dr. Mike is as funny in real life as he is in video. Who Matt Chris asked if Dr. Mike was as funny in real life. Yes, he's yes. very vulgar, <laughs> he's extremely vulgar. He's a very nice guy. Alicia, she is uh, she finds it satisfying that you hunch over and zone out just like uh, every other nerd in front of the, their game. Yes, yeah, maybe it's something I gotta work on. What, hunching uh, over? Not hunching over. Zion White asks, uh, did you ever beat Ninja Gaiden as a kid? As a kid, no. As an adult, yes. Really? Yeah, I've beat it. It's hard. Once you get to Jaquiro, though, it's over. It's like, that guy's the hardest part of the game. You can get good at the levels going through the whole thing. 
Right now I'm not because I never streamed and played games at the same time. But getting the last boss is a different, it's a whole different game. So, what, what we got? What injuries have you had? What injuries have I had? A million of them. <laughs> not very many in the past three, three or four years. Okay, what was the most significant? Uh, ankle sprain. Yeah. Yeah. How ankle. did it happen? Who's asking me these questions? I feel like I'm being I just interrogated. Asked you that. Uh, you just asked me that. I, we got to answer. This is an interrogation. Now. You are interrogating me, Sam, right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are a Jaquiro. Oh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> I love you, I Kingpin. Um, da, 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 da. I, I thought somebody asked. Thank you, Joseph Jones. What's Juju's favorite all time time machine? Oh, that's he says gym machine. That's I know, time I know. machine. I read it as time machine. It'd be like they have different models of time machines. Can you imagine if the entire room, instead of filled with gym equipment, was filmed with uh, a variety of assortment of time machines? As if you need different time machines. I don't know. Do we it's have like a hot a, tub? Not in here. A hot tub time machine. A hot tub time machine. Um, my favorite gym machine? Do you have one? Uh, in this room, probably the mono lift. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't use it more than any of the other ones because I, you know. But the mono lift is—it's just one of those things. Where it's like, it's money, man. It's so good. If you change anything about the gym you built, I would make it bigger. Guitar man, fifty-five. You would have a shower. I would have put an indoor shower. That was a mistake. I have an outdoor shower in the gym, but I have everything in here to make it a gym home. But a shower that's on the back patio. So I would have put a shower in here. That's something I would have done. Uh, are you selling hoodie sleeves? <laughs> when are you coming? <laughs> Thank you, Michael, for the kind word there. Uh, background looks like a green screen. No, no, I'm actually just I'm float. I, I've set up the whole thing on this back side of the gym, and you can just see it. It's very inconvenient because I have to climb down a ladder every time I have to get out of here and uh if i just lean back too far i'll fall off but just you know just see. okay i wish i could show them what this looks like from from up here hi he's just staring laying on the floor not blinking trying to get himself up because he's a large man he's sort of like a turtle on his back Trying to rock his way up. Yep. You know what? You know what people don't do anymore? Especially these pretty boy influencers. I'm going to complain. They don't make dumb faces enough. The most they ever do is make a surprise face in a YouTube thumbnail. But they're, they're, they're afraid of looking ugly. You know, they need to make, make dumb faces more. I miss that. People used to just make dumb faces all the time. Not care whether they look good or not. Jeez. Yes, uh, yes, Scooby. I'm married to a, got a heavy, slightly smaller than six foot. Heavy breathing body. I should just film you doing that. No, stop it. Stop it, Sam. Ugly is in. That's right, I Kingpin. Ugly is in, man. Bring oh, back the it's ugliness. Travis. Travis, hey, everybody. Thanks. My dad loves Travis. Oh, my doctor keeps telling me to stop. What do you got left? Uh, my doctor keeps telling me to stop eating the uh, ammonia inhale. It's delicious. You should, should I listen to them or should I try them with the milk and cereal? You um, should probably just sniff them. Oh, man. There's a new... Oh, Sam. Just sniff it. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ah. A, lot, a lot of folks said that, uh, if, let's see, Mad Chris, Mad Chris just said, I always make dumb faces. Should I start an influencer YouTube page? <sighs> Bert Kreischer. He makes a lot of dumb faces, doesn't he? That's why he's successful. It's got to be. It's not the fact that he's a, a very talented uh, comedian. It's just the fact he makes dumb faces, right? Um <laughs> Do they expire? Yes, after a little while, but for most people, they last about four months. Uh, I've had people uh, say they last about six. For me, a couple months, but yeah, if you take care of them, they'll last for months. But um, if they're, let's say, shared in the gym, how long would they last? Like, if you bring it and your buddies are lifting together. Um, it depends on how long you leave the cap off. So, the longer you leave the cap off on a bottle of ah, the more it's going to expire. So, yeah.
Never done that. <laughs> All right. I like Brian. Brian, thanks for the uh, using the emojis that we have in stock there. A couple Kirkos Grizzly emojis and ah emoji. You have a flamingo by your name. That's cool. There you go. What, is, what does a flamingo mean? Uh, the Flamingo is for people that join the channel. So in the future, we'll probably, well, not probably, we are going to be doing members only streams uh, and stuff like that. But right now, I don't want to do that because I don't even know how to stream. Hence the title of the stream. Uh, Meathead tries live streaming, has no idea what he's doing. So <laughs> let's get, let's get, let's get this down first, you know? Do you have a favorite Jim Carrey movie? Uh... Most of them. Has he ever made a bad movie? Oh, Cable Guy. But that wasn't really that bad, was it? I mean, what, what was his peak movie? Ace Ventura? Uh, I guess so, yeah. They're all good. Yeah? Yeah. Robert Callahan chat. Awesome. Hey, buddy. If you guys don't know uh, who Robert Callahan is, well, then... Um, oh, he's wondering if you're going to have an OnlyFans. Who? Robert. Maybe. Robert's <laughs> done the pictures for the web store, so... Is he going to do your OnlyFans pictures? Like, these very very nice pictures of the pants for example awesome photography work is there a black line next to me over here can you guys see this is there a line here is, i see this black line can you guys see that it's been bugging me the whole time my ocd is killing me uh someone uh, someone who who oh, isn't going to lie to me <laughs> thanks joseph thanks for joining yeah, we're going to be doing more members only things and this what, VOD OnlyFans? Yeah, I guess it kind of is no. an only fans maybe. Oh gosh. Okay, so they see this they see the black line? Uh, why is it there? It's not there now, but Do you, you know. do a lot of cardio? Do you run? Uh, Can you run? Whoa, we lost everything. And we're back. I I I ran a few years ago for a couple months. Oh, I got yeah. Remember, I went through a running phase there. You had the, some Brooks shoes. Yeah, I had some Brooks shoes. It was fun. I like running. It's nice. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Webb. Can you make a rich piano doing trapped shoulders face? How, how does he... Wait, can you pull yourself up on screen? No, no, no. We got we to find a picture of Rich. Hold on. Okay. We got to do this real then quick. Then you guys can compare. Is he doing rich justice? Yeah. We do a little rich piano here. We're gonna go to images. I'm gonna find a face. What if I just type in Rich Piano face up here? Would you ever uh, do a series where you visit home gyms? It's gotta be that one, right? Hi, is that the one that you that you wanted? I don't know. That's a hard face to do. That's that's a what is going on there, Rich? <laughs> What are you doing, dude? What do you want, bro? I met Rich a couple times. I met, yeah, I met Rich four times. Yeah, he's he's he was the nicest dude ever. He has uh, very good memories of meeting Rich several times. Anything that you really that really stood out for you? I like this. I'm I am I feel the presence of Rich here. <laughs> I am Rich with Rich. <laughs> I miss Rich too. It would have been great to do more videos with him. Can you imagine uh, multi collabs with Rich? Welcome to the flock. Thank you, PT, for joining. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Mitch Hooper, you know, he just popped on my radar when I was following the WSM guys. If you follow the WSM, World's Strongest Man, Tom won again, and. Uh, Martin's been second. Yeah, Martins is second. Yeah, you know Brian Shaw did really well this time. He didn't podium, but damn, the dude worked his ass off, and he, and, you know, he, he's got a lot going on too. Yeah, this is the thing. Brian has, I think, more going on than the other guys, and that's could be holding him back. But he's also getting older too. You know, there's a lot of things going against Brian, but he's he's doing really good. I think he's amazing. He's a great athlete. He's an awesome athlete. He is one of the best in the world. Which actually, world's strongest man. Yeah, makes sense. Checks out. All right. <laughs> Shoot! Ah! <laughs> when was the last time you spoke with uh, Clarence Kennedy? I don't know. I think Clarence fell off the face of the earth. He hasn't posted anything in a long time. Oh. I haven't noticed anything. So. Clarence is like a dude. Clarence okay. Yeah, he's he's nice. Clarence is a really really kind person. Clarence. You uh, do you remember being covered in gold? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who asked me that question? Me. 
Yeah, we did a video with Clarence where we all did gold body paint and I got a funny memory about that. So we painted our bodies with this gold body paint. We did this video and then we had to clean it up afterwards, right? Well, Clarence went in the house first and he took a shower in my guest bathroom and then I had to make it to my bathroom. Well, I had Sam to help me scrub off everything. You know, she was helping me and everything because it was really hard to get off. And when we were done, it took a good 25, 30 minutes to get this gold paint off her body. I walk out of the room and, I'm, and I walk outside the door where Clarence is taking a shower, getting the gold paint off his body. And all I can hear is Clarence just uh, muttering to himself, fuck, fuck. Like he was scared, like, shit, no, no. He was freaking out in the shower because he couldn't get it off his body. It was hilarious. <laughs> That shower for a while. Yeah, that shower. We had a gold shower for a while, but it's just it was hilarious listening to his distressed, muffled, mumbled sounds to himself as he's trying to scratch this gold paint off his body in my guest bathroom. That was hilarious. He was, he was eventually very successful with getting all the gold off. Yeah, he had a golden ear canal after that. He had a uh, gold paint stuck. We had all his gold paint stuck in her ears and stuff. You know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But uh, someone has a NASA icon as their... Uh... Mateo. Yeah. He has a favorite muscle group to train. Like this? Back. Back? I like back. Yeah, back's fun. I think back's fun to train. Chest isn't my favorite. I, I don't mind it. It's just that it, my shoulders can get wonky afterwards no matter what I do the next day. I never really feel great after doing a chest day. Yeah? Yeah, but it's just necessary. So... Aha! Yeah, Clarence's uh, uh, weakness is ice, actually. Ice bath. My dad is doing an ice bath challenge next month. He's building one, right? He's build, He's got to build his own ice bath first. So. Would you guys like to see how he builds it? I'm pretty sure they would. I guess he can just document it. You can follow my dad on Instagram. We'll probably post some stuff. Hopefully not any more, uh, too too much more clips of his yard rat, Murray, his, his, his groundhog that lives under his gazebo. <laughs> let's bring it up look at this like i'm not joking here like go to all right do you ever do 100 rep sets for fun uh no not not anymore oh no, why not okay here's this how many what is going on i think it's the latest one i mean this is i'm not logged in over here on this browser i mean there's you can just oh i'm not even logged in okay it's Just okay go to Mufu dad and you guys can see his uh murray <laughs> yeah 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 ah murray murray the yard rat type www before a website who loop what no man come on look look you have to right you can't get away with this. Watch. Oh, I guess you can. Okay. Well, you win. <laughs> oh man, I'm 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 definitely an elder millennial, as they say. <laughs> what is that term, elder millennial? <laughs> it's like because millennial generation is is such a large gap here that the the older ones are getting upset that they're being lumped in the same group as the younger ones they're like i'm not i'm not like them i'm not like them i remember when we had to right click save target as zip files unzip these mpeg files and then watch potato quality 240 by by one 150 or whatever it is yep who remembers right click chat one juju zero that's right <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, so what about, hey, are Joseph, you still going after your 700 pound deadlift? Uh, I have to, pro I have to stagger that correctly. So I, I know I have it in me. I just, I, it requires a disproportionate amount of resources. So for whatever reason that, that little jump there is hard for me. It's not like I haven't tried, but I think I'm going to have to really prioritize a deadlift and really back off on the body split type training stuff and just be like, nope, just deadlift, 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 and it'll probably happen pretty quick. Do you think that'll be with some training with Taylor Wool? Who asked that question? Me. Read chat. Stop asking me, Sam. This is about chat. We're 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 connecting with with 
with chat here. Sam's just got her own interrogation going over on the sidelines. You know what I mean? We're going to ask the eight ball question. All right. Um, what is the size of your biceps? All right. Yes. <laughs> it just says yes. <laughs> the size of my biceps is yes. So Robert, our friend Robert. Okay. There are two types of millennials. Those with Snapchat and those without. That separates them. Ah, all right. Well, uh, I've never had a Snapchat, and I refuse to have a TikTok as well. So. Are you ever going to have a Snapchat? Why would I at this point? I Who uses Snapchat anymore? Okay, chat, what's the benefit of having a, a Snapchat? Yes. As an right. elder millennials. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> I like the fact that you're using the Dorito Body Antoine Flex. It's an awesome emoji there, Mr. Joseph Jones. Snap is dead. Is it really dead? Is Snapchat dead? We gotta ask. You know, Google's does is is Snapchat dead? You know, let's just ask here. So it is not dead. Hmm. I think. I think this is wrong. I think it's dead. Someone asked, "How far has a uh, Mufu Dad run in a day before?" I think it's wrong. I I I want to believe what I want to believe. I want to believe facts. So I'm gonna stick to, stick to. <laughs> Are you going to visit Grizzly? Uh. Demos. That's what Demos asked. I hope I said your name right. Mm. He's reading our minds. Ugh. He knows our plans. Our real plans. Do you talk to the Grizzly? Who asked that question? Me. Yes, I talk to the Grizzly. He messages me memes all the time. That's on Instagram. how you know you have a good friendship, right? Yeah, so guys, I me and me and Grizzly are friends. We can't speak each other's languages, but he often sends me memes. I think the last one he sent me was like an elephant one or something, just randomly. Well, you, you <laughs> Google Translate a lot of your stuff. Uh, for oh, him, for a lot of times I'll, I'll respond to him and I'll translate it to Greek form and send it to him just for fun because it's fun. But yeah. Breakdancing, I'm a little bit heavy for that and a little bit old, but you know, it's interesting is I don't know why breakdancing isn't more popular. Why isn't it more mainstream? Why hasn't it crossed over more into other sports? You know, we see big guys do flips all the time. Sure, you know, acrobatics is well known, but why aren't they doing any like power moves on the ground? You know, it's like, I don't understand why we don't see more breakdancing. That is actually interesting. So, fit, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Fit thick, do you find you have to train differently as you age? He's a Gen Xer. Um, if so, how so? Uh, this uh, He says that he definitely has to warm up a lot more now. And oh, yeah. And pay the price lifting heavy. Yeah, you have to warm up way more when you, when you get older. No matter what you do in life, your warm-up time is going to increase. No matter what. Here are things that increase your warm-up time for training. You get stronger, which is going to increase your warm-up time. You get bigger, which is going to increase your warm-up time. You get older, which is going to increase your warm-up time. You get more skilled, which is going to increase your warm-up time. Or you grow a beard, which is going to increase your warm-up time. So everything increase your warm-up time. No matter what you do, your warm-up time as you get older is going to increase. So you have to have that time, which means you have to have more time to train in order to get warmed up for training. So as you get older, you actually need more time. Fear Factor is a show. Why are you no, saying that? No, what about it? I haven't How does it factor in to your uh, warm-up? Because it's a sign of age. <laughs> a 15-year-old kid doesn't grow a beard like this and, unless something is uh, really wrong. Or... Do you guys know any 15-year-old kids who have a beard like this? I don't know. Uh, how do you know when you're fully warmed up? Well, then... Uh, your body doesn't feel like complete trash. <laughs> it's a pretty good question, actually. I think it's pretty intuitive, but actually, if you have to answer it, it's it's not the simplest answer. But it's go with your gut feeling. Oh, Shannon, uh, who's Travis's wife? Uh, she she said hello. She just got back from work. SoCal friends, hello, Shannon. <laughs> dealing dealing with muscle twitching. Are you like the pec dance? Wait, I think you have to show them more. I think he's talking about something else. More actually. Skin. Oh no! We're getting demonetized. <laughs> Someone clip that. <laughs> uh, oh, Mad Chris. That guy was not 15. He was 35. Um, 
Yeah, Devin does look like a Sasquatch lately. He's got those mutton chops. What is going on there? So let's uh, let's go look at a recent picture of Devin real quick. Well, what quick. beard styles need to make a comeback? That would be a, a good question. Is that his handle? I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, oh, Robert said you got to save that for your OnlyFans. There, Dev Larrett, there. We're done. That's the next video that's coming out soon. You, you saw it right there. Um, <laughs> I'm super HD. Okay, I got a question for chat. So we're troubleshooting a bit. I noticed that it gets fuzzy. Like, am I fuzzy right now? A answer. Okay, I'm not fuzzy now. I was fuzzy for a second there, right? I'm trying to figure this out. That's because it's adjusting. I need to I need to go into the camera settings and make it adjust better, I think. I, I didn't do that. Yes, yes, sharp. Wait, I asked if I was fuzzy. <laughs> or furry? Man, just... <laughs> Can I spam my own chat? Am I going to get kicked off here? <laughs> I don't know, mods. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, Brian, try to... No, don't try to ban me, uh, actually, if it worked. Autofocus takes a little bit. Okay. It's creatine natty. <laughs> he really wants that question answered. The, the answer is eyebrow. There we go. You got your answer. You got your answer. <laughs> it's the raised eyebrow look. Um, <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> don't encourage spams like you're the, like, <laughs> oh my God, I can't keep up. You guys are spamming chat so fast. I like the bear emojis. Can I, how do you do that? Samuel, how did you do the bear emoji? How do you, it's not, how do you do Is that? Is that on his phone? Oh, How, oh, oh, someone wants to know how long your hands are. How long my hands are? Why don't we measure hell? I mean, oh, if, okay. if he really wants to know, he or she. Hey, oh. hey guys, thank you for coming into the stream. I haven't done the, uh, the reintroduction thing where we're in the middle of it. You don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. So the first 10 minutes of the stream was spent troubleshooting audio. And then I don't know what the heck will happen after that. So... I'm still here. I, I plan to stream for about 45 minutes, and it's been... How long has the stream been going on? I don't even know. See, I don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm supposed to have, like, a thing that shows me how long we've been up. I can't even see it. Is it over here? It's got to be over here. Oh, an hour and 22 minutes. Gosh, I'm way over. <laughs> I'm way over. Oh, my gosh. All right. How do you get such a good beard? Well, you don't cut it. No, that's not the answer. It's not the answer. Why are we measuring my hands? You want it freedom units or centimeters? Freedom units. Oh, okay. The answer how do you how do you measure your hand? Is this is like to the index finger? Alright, what is this? That's not freedom, dude. That's that's centimeter. That's that's oh, the world empire units. Twenty two and a half centimeters. Which is about nine inches. Nine inch, is that how you measure? My hand is 20. That that means that you have long hand fingers. You would be good at arm wrestling. Freedom units. Er, Hans, with a name like that, I'm going to guess that you're not from uh, the land of the, of, of the freedom units, but probably from the, a place that isn't as arrogant with their metrics. <laughs> All right, what's more important, splits or deadlift? Personal best peanut butter? Not sure what you mean. Deadlift peanut butter? Salmon versus cod. Both. I eat both. Um, I eat cod the first few meals of the day and salmon on meal five. Tried closing a COC four. No, there's no point. It will never happen. Um, it's too hard. Do you? I don't actually. I These questions are confusing. Cheese. I don't eat cheese. Um. Do you consume other beards? Uh, do I consume other beards? No, I'm not like uh, Lord Vecna on uh, Stranger Things that absorbs uh, the power of his people or that he takes over or something. So, 
Yes, that's what we're watching. Anybody else watching Stranger Things? So anybody else watching Stranger Things? It's it's good. Of course, most people probably say it's good. How much are you weighing right now? I'm 255 pounds. That's freedom units as well. I'm sorry. Not really. Kind of. I should be. Maybe not. Oh, wait, Retro Cosmos wants a 35 pound plate. Don't you dare bring that 35 pound plate over here. here. Look, one day we're going to paint this thing green. This is also in freedom units, apparently. What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. That's that's a great question. Oh, hey, Adrian. Thanks for the nice uh, comment. I'm not a gym guy, but that's really cool that you're hooked up with your You know, honestly, I was doing pretty good. You gotta give me props, right? With a 35 pound plate in my teeth? Oh, yeah. Could have been a lot worse. <clears throat> what am I doing? All right. Oh, uh, you've inspired some folks to go to the used gym store. Oh, the used gym store in Hickory, North Carolina is the place to go buy really well priced gym equipment and probably find some of my machines there, too. Because I've resold stuff back Wait, to them. Wait, you know what they have a lot of? Tell, tell me your experience getting weight plates there. Okay, so this is my experience getting weight plates from the used and new gym store. Talk to Scott. He's the owner of the place. We walk in, and can you guys see me, or is this messed up? No, no, it works. Okay. Just... All right. So here we go. Walk into the used gym store. And ask for 45-pound plates. He said, no, I sold them all to you. Okay. I asked for 25 pound plates. He says, nope, we don't have any of those. I asked for 35 pound plates. He said, there's two pallets over there. One right there and one against the wall. <laughs> so he had no 45s, 25s, but he had pallets of the 35s. That, that goes to show you that no one wants 35 pound plates. I'm with Chris Duffin on this. We need to destroy them. So we're going to answer a question with a book of answers now. Is Grip Genie still a thing? Oh my gosh. It says, of course. Which is the answer. Grip Genie is, of course, still a thing. And we're coming out with a new product next month that we're super excited about. We've been trying to get this product made for three years. Maybe four. And it's amazing. So we finally got it going. Thank you, David. Uh, Medina. I'm... Thanks, my friend. Thank you very much. Any uh, potential collabs you'd like to see, David? Yeah, any any potential collab? Yeah, so if you like collabs, guys, uh, always going to be doing collabs. Maybe not at uh, the super fast paced. Sometimes, sometimes a little slower. But, David, who would you like to see me collab with again? I guess that goes for everybody. I'm, I'm going to see the same names I see every time. But, hell, maybe we'll find something new. You guys want me to work with someone new? that I haven't worked with, um, let me know who and why. And I can, where's Waldo? Uh, no collabs. On the mug. That's a good question. Where's Waldo? Do we have any more coffee? JP, hey JP. Fuad, yes. Um, let's see. We got, we got, yep, yep. I see, I see names. I see, I don't know why the heart icon got a uh, sideline there. What am I looking at? I'm, I'm looking at chat. Sam is showing me chat here and I'm looking at chat over here at the same time. And I'm just like, <laughs> so much chat. It's like, Sam, I can see it over here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Daltonator 87. I'm going to guess that 87 is the year you were born. 
unless you have an 87 Pontiac Trans Am, which doesn't make sense. Or maybe that's a jersey number? I don't know. Yeah, it could be. It could be the number of times that he's squatted 405 for consecutive reps. Uh -huh. Freedom units again, it seems. Well, hey, um, JP, I'm glad that you're still hanging in there. And look, got this. you guys are not spamming chat with enough people to collab with, all right? Um, I'm seeing Greg, Coach Greg. I'm seeing uh, Chad. Who's Chad? Who am, who am I? Uh, who's, who am I collabing with? Chad. I see Magnus. <laughs> I see Steve uh, Camper. Steve Wallace. Uh, I see. I see the guys. Uh, the the Kidney King. I see this gamer body. Lol, lol Tyler one. Okay, I'm gonna look at this chat later. I'm gonna go through it. But I need I need different names. We've all seen Brian Shaw, unless you're just saying it over and over again. We're going to work with Brian Shaw again. I need, okay, who who got well, here? Well, Shit to Reality has a, a good question. All right. So, uh, he said, when you move from your office job to running a business, what was the fastest thing you needed to learn? That's a great question. I want to answer it. Um, it just chat is like blinding me here with these names, which is what I asked for. So we got to ask. Keep going. Omar, Esau, Eddie Hall, Lil Tennyson, Goggins. Boogaz with a bunch of exclamation marks. Eddie Hall, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, farm animals. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Farm animals. Let's land on that, but let's get back to the question, huh? All right. So uh, the question that was asked was what? So when you went from your office job to running a business, what was the fastest thing you needed to learn? All right, so that's the question that was asked by someone up above. Uh, quitting an office job to running a business, the fastest thing I need to learn. Um, the fastest thing I need to learn. What was the fastest thing I needed to learn? I can't think there's any expediency in anything that I need to learn. Like, or maybe just the like, fact that you don't need a 9-to-5 schedule. Or... That wasn't a fast thing I need to learn. That was a slow thing I need to learn. But it, it was, what was essential then? Essential thing you need to learn if you're going to quit your day job and uh, right. do and run a business or do your own thing, making a living, doing something that you want to do, it would probably be to um, not base your schedule off of uh, most of the workforce. So like most people are working nine to five jobs. You're going to hear different people say different things. Some people want you to wake up super early. Other people want you to stop working at five no matter what and spend time with your family and friends and, and relax and chill. And you just need to throw all that out the window and create your own schedule based on your own Joseph, rhythms, Joseph needs, and stuff. Taxes. Taxes. <laughs> Taxes is not the easiest thing in the world. This is why you get someone else to do them. But even if you have someone else to do your taxes, you still need to learn more than you want to learn. That's the point. Uh, Fuad, yes, I uh, am in a Telegram circle with Fuad and a bunch of other pro bodybuilders, so um, that could happen pretty easy. He's got his own gym, he's got his podcast, he's a really chill, dope guy. I Evan like everything about him. We're going to work with Evan Sintapani um, because we're friends. Um, uh, you can go ahead, Franklin. Blaze it, bro. Um, hey, D. Leonardo's going to go for a new overhead press. Get it. <laughs> All right, you got to ask, what is the Bilbo training method? Is it like a punchline, like a dad joke? Like something about hobbits eating three breakfasts? I don't this? know. I, don't, that's, that's... I want to make my hairline look worse. How can I do that? Can I make my receding hairline look even worse? What if I pull this back there? <laughs> there. Look, look. There we go. There. We, what did I say earlier, guys? Put this into a little mohawk here so it looks even stupider. You guys could talk about my... Uh, Losing all my hair. If you guys like these live streams, I would encourage you to thumbs up because we have no idea. Yeah, we guys, give no us give us a thumbs up, even if uh, you you don't know what's going on because <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Are you just disoriented right now? I I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at my. I look like uh, what is that president's name? Something Buchanan. Oh my god. Uh, I want to go for this look. There he is. He looks like an onion. Perfect. This is awesome. This is this is the direction we're taking this now. This is this is yes. Can, can we? Uh... uh. Is he a carpet bagger? JP said you're looking like Eddie Hall with Mohawk. Federalist. What is he? He's a 
if I remember right, this guy was a shithead. Do you have, so Robert asked, do you have a favorite non-strength related sport? Oh, Rogaine doesn't do anything, Leonardo. Uh, do I have a what? Favorite non-strength related sport? Yeah. Tricking. Dude, acrobatics. I don't know if it's a sport. It's a sport. It's a sport. It's, it's definitely athleticism. You know, what? what is the definition of a sport? Because I've heard pro bodybuilders say bodybuilding wasn't a sport. You know, it's kind of like, I feel like anything that's physical where you can lose at the last minute, no matter the amount of preparation that you do, is technically a sport. You know, because you can do all your poses wrong at the last minute on stage and you can lose even though you did everything else right going up to it. Because the outcome is not determined before uh, you step on stage. It's determined on stage. Uh, what is the status on the Acrobolics website? Well, it works, actually. It's... Uh, it's it's right here it's uh acrobolics should redirect you here if it doesn't then it doesn't need to because it's gone you know yeah oh stay away from that <laughs> uh yes this is this is the acrobolics website thank you uh for the donation uh sicky thank you very much my friend but it's definitely on there. It's definitely up and running. I want to do more things on the website that's like old school, um, like early 2000s stuff where it's like actually like write pages that are like not like blog articles, like stuff, like trying to keep up with regular posting schedules, social media, but like features. Like I used to have this page where I had all my playlists listed for my uh, YouTube music. Now I can port it over to Spotify or something. And that was just a fun page to have. And a lot of people miss that page because it's gone. I just want more pages on my website that are just like information things, you know, just like not like blog articles, but like here's a section of site with a bunch of useful stuff for people for, for free. That It's a ghost plant. I gotta go plant these later outside. Yes. They smell good. Can you guys smell these? Can you smell them? <laughs> Get it away. Uh, yes. Oh my God. What's good, bro? Crypt Keeper, you're good. Thank you. Nick Strength and Power, I have no idea. Uh, oh, just for people to collab with. I was like, why did you just say Nick Strength and Power all of a sudden? Uh, building his home gym? Uh, yeah, uh, Nix is perpetually building his home gym. I think Ghostbusters would be great to collab with, but I think most of the guys are retired from Ghostbusting, so I don't know what we can do there. I think you were the one who was haunted here with basil plants. Yeah. Uh, different stuff. All right, guys. All right. All right. Well... Where are we at here with this stream? I was trying to keep up with your... Uh, we're about an hour and a half. I got to go do hamstrings. I know it's weird. It's what's left. It's like to-do list training this week. It's like I've done everything else but hamstrings. So I got to do work out my hamstrings, guys. I got to figure out how to close this. Oh, there's a stop streaming button. Okay, that's going to be easier than fixing the audio level oh, later. Oh, yeah, Robert. That's what the Juju Farm channel is about, hamstrings. Uh, about the hams. About the Sam strings, hamstrings. Uh, how you train freezing here? I just want to keep answering questions. It's a crazy thing, but I gotta go. So we're gonna do another stream. Uh, Probably next Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna do something that uh, I'm not looking forward to right now, and that is drinking the thing that freaked me out. So I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone, guys. And. Ooh, are you going to do hamstrings? I'm going to drink this. I don't know what's going to happen, but... We'll, we'll, we'll see if we make it to next Saturday. We'll see if I can make it to next Saturday for the stream. Here we go. All of it. On that note, thank you everybody for joining. We will see you next Saturday. Well, maybe if, if he survives. What, what is what does this drink taste like, first of all? Bye, guys. <sighs> Stay hydrated. Chugging the void. Soon I'm going to piss the void outside in the backyard. <laughs> you have to do hamstrings, of course. I got to do hamstrings. Thank Love you, guys. Everybody. Thank you. We're going to do more stuff. We're going to continue to get better at this. Thanks to your help. 
We All might right. actually get the audio right. We might actually get the audio right uh, earlier rather than later in the stream. So.